Hey, hey, there we go. Um, yeah, sorry, I just had to literally reinstall. Um, so it's sorting out some stuff on my screen. Had to reinstall Spotify for some reason. Um, but yeah, so, um, not much happened while being gone away. Just had some food and went for a walk. So we'll keep going on this thing. Um, as I said at the end of the um, last session, like just before lunch, um, I'm probably going to continue on the shirt. That hasn't changed in the 10 minutes I've been gone. I'm now realizing I've done something really stupid. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Um, we can we can fix that. Oh wait, that's just a simulation, isn't it? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, we can uh, fix that, no issue. But yeah, cool. So I'm just going to take this model into ZBrush and uh, we'll take it from there, see where it goes. So let's get that file, export selection. I'm just going to move that off screen. Okay. Short geo, yep, that's fine. Get to here. I am going to keep that original mesh. I'm just going to rename it to like backup or something. Cool. Um, and then let's append import. We're going to bring in uh, Maya. So I just need to uh, put you guys on my right screen. Or left screen even. There we go. Cool. So, exports. Bring in the shirt. There we go. So, I'm going to subdivide it, say twice, then import this back in, and then we'll reconstruct the subdiv uh, subdivision. There we go. And then geometry. There we go. So, export. Just going to re import that again. Okay, it doesn't like that geometry. Okay, yeah, no, I can't do that. Well, it's functional either way. Um, so let's go. Uh, we can enable dynamic subdiv, add some thickness. Okay, so the shirt is quite thin. That is not far off. Trying to go down, down to the low subdiv here. Oh yeah, because it's got smooth enabled. There we go. Yeah, I'll put it there for now. Cool. Um. So we need to auto group this thing. Let's go to polygroups. Um, have we lost the UVs again? Um, why? Yeah, we've not got UVs again. Subtool, append, sphere, import. Okay. So then UV map. Okay, so we have UVs. So at what point does it go away? Geometry, reconstruct subdiv, UV map. Let's 
scale it down. Definition. general match. Doesn't need to be one to one. Clearing new V's out. Let's check the UVs now. Okay, that's working, that's fine. So then let's import it again. Okay, UV map. Okay. So then we geometry we can sub subdiv. It's working. Okay, well we've lost a little bit of detail, so let's go um, re-project that. In fact, actually what might be worth doing... No, I can't actually, never mind. Um, let's append as again. And then import for you. So we lost just a tiny amount of detail, so we'll just hide all these. Then sub tool. Where are you? Draw a tree. That's not what I want. Oh, it isn't sub tool, isn't it? Yeah. Project. lost it last time. Um, okay, so I need to go to polygroups. I want to group UV. Okay, and I feel like I want a polygroup just for that top section. Um, so what would be the way to do this? I mean, I could temporarily re-UV it. Which I might do, actually. Let's export this low res back out. 
Uh, let's group export ZBrush sculpting exports shirt back to Maya. File import. Okay. Check the UVs. Um, UV editing. And for now, what I'll do is just cut that off. I'm not going to move the UVs. Uh, I'm just going to cut it. And that gives me a way just to very quickly edit. Uh, and while I'm here, may as well do the easy adjustments. Well, easy for Maya adjustments. Stuff like that. ZBrush. Import. Let's go for UVs. Didn't I just cut the UVs? Does it not look at the actual UV seams? It looks at like changes. Um, export selection. Okay. Import. Oh, interesting. It is it based on the actual like position of the UVs, not the connectivity. Weird. Okay, learn something new today. So let's quickly sculpt some sleeve stuff.
empty. Okay, so this side is like halfway down our shoulder. Try using the cloth brush. Cloth hook. Ooh. Is it way too strong? Holy fuck. Dynamics. Why is the smooth brush so weak all of a sudden?
Let's try the spiral brush. That's pinch. B S I. What did I just do? <laughs> Slice circle. Okay. B S. Uh, J. Oh, J. Okay. There's the slice. Um, okay. BMT. Not what I asked for, but okay. Um. It seems to be further back, doesn't it?
part of me wants to colour in the skin. To get a bit of a nicer, like, understanding of it. Spotify is quite simple. I mean, really, I only use it for this. Like, when I uh, wasn't streaming for like a few months, I just straight up didn't use Spotify. Like, at all. Interesting how we get like visual bugs when I use when I adjust like border verts, but not when I adjust any other vertices. It's a like, smooth, just border edges, other than the uh, polish tool I was looking at earlier. fun to sculpt stuff. The one part of sculpting that I actually enjoy. Or one part of sculpting like clothing that I actually enjoy. Okay. 
Um, Mike, have you groomed any sci-fi characters? I've groomed a few. Like, professionally. I've mostly looked at sci-fi, though. In the past. Or people with complex hairstyles. Oh yeah, I've I've groomed a lot of those. They're hard. They're very hard. The most complex character ever groomed, like human character, is a character called Queen Ingrif from Maleficent 2. Um, good lord, she was a fucking nightmare. What advice do you have for a beginner? Don't. There's no need to do complex grooms as a beginner. Um, I'd much rather see, like if I was hiring for groom, which obviously I'm not, um, but if I was hiring for groom, personally for a junior, I'd much rather see simple hairstyles done well to prove that they've got a good eye, rather than complex hairstyles done mediocre because they're really hard. Like it, it's just, it's no point to it in my mind. Hey Lauren. Yeah, so I mean, I wouldn't really call them sci-fi, but yeah. Um, honestly, just keep it simple. And thank me later. Okay, let's go into... Is it in def defamation? I don't think it's complicated. Uh, do you mean the, in the general chat yesterday? Because I think I saw it. Um, yeah, I mean, it depends on what you define as complicated. Uh, if it's the images I'm thinking of, it's not simple. Like, I mean, let me put it this way. Um, if I look at the course I made for flip normals, intro to extra. Like, there's a reason that I did this hairstyle. Like, there's a there's a reason that's a really bad angle. Like, the reason I picked this hairstyle is not because, like, I was feeling lazy. Because honestly, like, I was debating doing really difficult hair. Um, the reason I picked this is because this hairstyle is all I would need to be able to see if you know what you're doing. Um, this is a very rushed groom. Like, ideally, it would look better than what I did. Um, I think the groom for these renders was, like, two hours work, three hours work, it was in the videos, um, but like a hairstyle like this can demonstrate enough knowledge, like you can show me like everything I need to see in something like this, just seeing how you approach the guides, seeing how clean they are, how well laid out they are, um, seeing um, how the noises are put together, how many noises are used, that sort of stuff. You know, can you still see the clumps after you've used noises? Like, that's what I care about. Um, I couldn't give less of a fuck if you know how to do a braid. Or a feather. Like, for, well, feathers, actually, no, I'll take that back. Feathers, if you can do that, holy fuck. Um, you know, for juniors, I mean. Uh, getting into a junior position, even. Um, feathers are very, very good to see. But, beyond that, like, digital stuff, like, just keep it simple. There's no need. You don't impress anyone by doing anything more complex and worse. Okay. Trying to 
that's fixed. Um, let's do scene 17. Export. Okay, so modeling, ZBrush, sculpting, exports, show geo. File import. Wait, no, all the way around. Uh, deform, blend shape. Okay, so at some point we need to do, we need to get the, the wider lineup set up, um, because otherwise we're not really going to get anywhere, are we? ZBrush file export selection. Check we still got AUVs. We do, good, good, good. Uh, all the other parts probably kind of require knowledge about Cyberpunk. What did I miss? Oh, you mean uh, with the concept? Okay. Okay, so we need to do the apron pretty soon. Um, need to line up the eye too. this is going to come from posing changes. 
because I haven't actually posed the model yet. I'll keep that there for now. Um, okay, we need a 2D pan and zoom tool, don't we? Um, look at my bore it is. Camera tools. the amount of misalignment we have. Looks like both caruncles are in the wrong place, so that's a good sign. And I mean that sincerely, like that is actually a good sign. World X. The eye is still well off. Close to there.
I have messed up messages. Um, all right, no, I haven't. Um, have you seen the comic book renders? No, I don't really follow like NPR rendering. Uh, non photorealistic. Um, Pablo Monaco Mayors. Yeah, he makes really good stuff. But I don't really follow anything like non realistic, to be honest. Okay, file, export selection. Okay, so let's go. Um, Import. Okay. I have to re sculpt the eyes a fair bit. <laughs> So I kind of need to paint the um, the corners. In fact, I need to get the eyes in here, don't I? Okay. File, export selection. Um, let's see. I outer. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to hide everything that isn't eyes. I'm going to go to transparent mode. Never mind. I'm just going to quickly try to line these up as best I can. Something like that will do. I'm not too worried about the um there you go. These are very asymmetrical. Um let's why is that so far? Oh shit. I've been doing that symmetrically this entire time. Perfect. I think that's close enough. Maybe not. Um, okay, that's going to be good enough for sure. So, what we're doing now is go to project. We'll do a project all. I just want to project the color. Okay, so then what we'll do, hide that original geo, go down to the lowest res. That isn't quite centered, but okay. Um, and then we will import that geometry again. the eyes.
do intentionally want to um, want certain textures? Do you intentionally want to certain textures from and recreate them the painting? Oh, so take textures from the painting. I probably will. Um, oh yeah, then you later message us about that. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll take some stuff from the painting, but not a huge amount to be honest. Okay, let's get some eye sculpting done. So based on the painting for now. My wedding stuff to, uh, today, I'll do better next time. No worries, man. Feeling human again. Shall I do a quick painting? As in, like, get some basic skin textures on there, just for preview purposes. Because only so long I can look at green, you know? Let's save the scene. Go 18. BST.
Okay, we got some blues in there. something close-ish to the skin tone. Hey, quick question. Uh, I read about the character and after posing and some sculpting, mesh got twisted in some areas. What should I do? Uh, will low poly like this affect textures? What do you mean twisted? Like that word means very little to me, so I don't really know what to say. Um, if you can give like a slightly more precise description of what's happened. Then I can give you some pointers. Let's shift this more towards.
like torso and arms when I did some sculpting uh, to make it suit the pose more. The mesh is not perfect as it used to be anymore. I, I still don't know what you mean. Like, is the topology broken? Is the like the general shape, like the the kind of low frequency shapes, is that broken or? don't know the difference between this two. So is your so you don't know what topology is? Like you're not sure what topology is, I mean. And it's probably best if you send something to the Discord, then I can take a look at it. Cause if you don't know the terms then there's no hope of me being able to figure out what exactly is going on. Uh, it'd be best for me to be able to see a picture. Yeah, if you put something into the, the whip chat, I can take a look later.
Um, why do you prefer colours when sculpting? It's nice to look at. I can turn them off with literally a button. Like whenever I want to, I can just go boop. And like if I have a basic color picked, like a green or something like I usually do, then I can quickly flash in and out. Okay, and then let's... Shadow. I always like to overdo the redness on those, so I just find quite cute. Starting to uh, see the same motion of painting up through the eye area. I do use poly paint first pass for your textures. Um, so more often than not, I won't um, directly use um, the poly paint. Like I'll try to keep it um, as its own thing. Uh, let's just quickly spend a little bit more time on getting that color right.
then what I'll often do is take a spike of a super bright saturated color and just do some little like caustic-y kind of things. From a distance they tend to read quite well. That's a bit strong though. There you go. Hey Mike, uh, today I almost killed myself on a treadmill because of your Instagram. Nice! Uh, I wanted to run 2.5 miles in under 20 minutes. Um, I don't actually know what pace that is, but that's pretty good going. Like, that's what, 8 mile an hour constant? As a flat? Uh, but yeah, either well, well done. Um, but... Uh, so there's a, a bit of the chat that always cuts off. See, there's a little heart that um, covers like the bottom right of the message. So all I can say is, uh, all I can see is, but um, but I didn't. It's great to see you d word like that. Like I can't, <laughs> I can't read that word, and it won't move out the fucking way. It's so annoying. There we go. We need to get some super dark reds in here. Okay, and then color pick that. Blend them together. I need eyebrows on there. Gonna try using a mask. Probably should have backed up my old one, like my old poly paint. dark maybe <laughs> Too high, aren't they? There we 
There we go. The brows and the painting are really hard to be fair. Yeah, I just think there's there's a expression that I haven't captured. Uh, once I'm doing it in Maya, it would be really easy, but at this stage, it's not. Um, it's gonna do some really quick. Something I always like to do. Close, keep going. Cheers, on. Uh, okay. So, oh, yeah, teeth. I keep forgetting about those. plastic on this one. Uh, MRGB, color, fill object, RGB, oh. BST. Okay. Let's just do the same thing we did earlier. This one will be a bit quicker. Paint the teeth back in after the fact, so that'd be easier. Maybe a little bit saturated. If your gums actually look like this, go to your dentist. Like, immediately. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna do some super desaturated stuff. Okay, and then let's say about here. Okay, let's turn that off.
Cool. Our skin tone is like nowhere near the actual skin tone, but it gives us a better idea. Okay, I have no idea what pattern I'm going to use for this thing. And like, how close do I want to match it? Like, do I want these to be in the same spot? Because I can paint it. Or do I just want to get some kind of tileable that does a good enough job? I use the tileable obviously for the fabric stuff, but like for the actual pattern on top, I'm not sure yet. Okay. So what was the next thing to figure out? I need to re-import the shirt because I know we did some quick adjustments in Maya. So let's do that. File import. Um, no, file export. Okay, import. My exports. See how fast you're going. Eh. Like I'm, I'm reasonably quick, but I'm not like fucking Vermal or um, Raphael Gossetti or anyone like that. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely. I'm not going slow, but. Um, not too happy with the shirt. This feels really strange. target for the day yet. Just gonna grab some more before I forget. I'm back. Hey Cyphus, how's it going man? It is Cyphus, right? Okay. Okay. 
what happens if we um, let's go here go to UV map okay so let's go to play groups what happens if we panel loop this I feel like I need to cut the UV for that bit. So let's do it. Question is there or there? And that one's closer. selection my exports yep going good nice progress thanks man What I'm thinking is eventually we'll get to something like this. Let's kind of do that sort of shit. I'm gonna give it the impression of having these like really defined uh, clothing seams. That's not a now problem, but it is a some point problem. clusters as well. A mute. As I haven't updated my Maya model for the body.
looking a little bit bumpy. I'll have to resolve that. Feels like going fast because the everyday streams, which I love dearly. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely it's going quicker than it would because ultimately we're on part eight, but each one's been three and a half to four hours. Um, so that would be a week and a half worth of work. Again, the, the thing to remember is you're seeing me work at almost real time with my professional life. Like the speed I'm doing now is pretty much the way I work. A little bit slower now, just because like. Um, you know, I'm at home. Like, I don't have the, the things around me. I don't have, like, a lead to get notes from. So I'm kind of giving myself notes. Um, or a supervisor or whatever. But I'd work at a pretty similar pace in the studio, but not quite as efficiently. Because ultimately, the, the way I'm working right now is just for fun. Right? I'm not doing the best techniques I know. I'm not doing all that stuff. I'm just making stuff. These things are really good.
So the head needs to be flattened down more. I thought it was already pretty flat. But oh well. So let's get that back into um, ZBrush. Weird how the shadows are acting so strange. Pretty close. This is a bit forward.
There we go. Um, right, I'm fucking about a bit too much now. Um, what's going to be the best thing to do from here? Let's see. Probably do the, um, what's the word? What is the word? Do the apron. We'll do the apron. Um, okay, so okay, so Royal. Send a screenshot on Discord with more details. Take a look after the stream, please. Sure, will do. by a different name. Okay, I'm going to rematch this again. Z remesh. That's good enough. I feel like there should be more under here. 
and not just hair, just in general. It can't just be like roundness, can it? I guess it could. Doing the knots is going to be a nightmare. I'm wondering if this geometry would benefit from Marvelous Designer. It's relatively simple. Relatively simple. Um, I'm not sure yet.
Oh, wait, I was muted that whole time. Today is like day apparently. Today is like day apparently. That's a quick recommendation if anyone's like new to like weightlifting and not sure what to do. There's an app called FitBod. Um, I hate the name too. Don't worry. Um, it's like AI driven um, like workout regime. So you just tell it what equipment you got available um, and like what your goals are, and it just gives you like workouts to do. The first few are kind of weird. Um, and just because it tries to figure out like one what your strength is and two like what you like and don't like um, but once you've done it a few times it starts to give pretty decent workouts I've been really enjoying it it's a bit limited on um, on weights so that you can't tell it precisely what weights you got you can just say hey I've got dumbbells but then it will keep giving you like dumbbell weights that you don't have It's got a lot of information on there, though. It is like a pretty good app overall. Part of me wants to um add like let's see. Pipe wants to add some kind of like plinth for this to be stood on. plastic or something. Posing in ZBrush? Maybe. I'm not sure yet. It looks like the likely way to go. Cause it is easy. But <sighs> I need to get like a little pad to put my elbow on. Cause my elbow is like resting on a desk while I do all this stuff, and it's really uncomfortable. This kind of works.
I talked about Monster Clay today. Um, do you sculpt? Uh, you talked about Monster Clay earlier today. Do you sculpt with it sometimes? Um, it's been years, like legitimately years since I last used Monster Clay. I can show you the sculpts that I did though. Like I posted them to Instagram. Let's get this over screen. Go to my Instagram. Scroll back. It's in here somewhere. Yeah, last time I scored two with Monster Clay was 221 weeks ago. Did a uh, eye mouth some cloth, and then I think the week prior we did some feet. Yeah, it was fun. I really like the sensation of working with Clay. Don't do it very often, but but this was fun just because it was um, literally just NPC hired out, um, well not hired out, but like bought a bunch of clay and got one of the modelers to deliver a class on it. It was really cool. I enjoyed that a lot. And then from there on out, like every sculpt I did had the um, the same clay color, like Dan DeVito here. Um, and I think it stayed that way for a while. Yeah, in fact, for my first stream project, I stuck with that color the whole way through the project. Like rendering room with the color and everything. It's fun. Absolutely killing me. Okay.
these teeth aren't. They're not even close to right. I'll have to spend a fair bit of time on them at some point. For the Hobbit production, <coughs> for the Hobbit production, Weta did so many concepts directly in clay. How amazing is that? It's really cool. Honestly, like I, I do like it when productions keep in touch with like older techniques. Cause it's just cool. Like it's not necessarily helpful. Like not always. But if you have like uh, a Damien or someone um, in ZBrush doing concepts, you're gonna get what you want. You know. But. There's something about seeing a physical clay model. Something I'll look, in, uh, look into off stream as well is um, getting something like epidemic sound, so I can uh, get like actual, like properly uh, royalty-free music. Because currently I just have a royalty-free playlist on Spotify, but apparently the claims on part five were enough to get it taken down. Granted, the video still exists. It just it will be down for I think 30 days, and yeah, I'd rather just get that sorted. I need to go sub develop, apparently. Some cool Android stuff going on here.
for wondering why I'm using this material. The normal material is a really good way to view subtle forms. Like you can see a lot. Every little bump, every little crevice will glow with this thing. Like right here, I can see there's a bump that shouldn't be there. So I can just very gently remove it. Like that. It just helps you see areas that you couldn't see before. So Mike, what's that albedo? Um, you mean this? Or are you just wondering what albedo is in general? Again, pre process current. What's the difference between albedo and diffuse? So, my current understanding uh, is that albedo is the scientific measurement as to how much light will bounce off a surface. Um, a way that you may have heard this that's kind of cool is you may have heard um, that uh, an increase in uh, ice caps on the planet will raise the planet's albedo because the amount of light hitting the surface is going to increase globally um, because white bounces a lot. Um, there we go. And so basically albedo should be um, whatever percent, whatever amount of light will bounce off of the surface regardless of its spec, whether it's, um, well sorry, whether it's metal, diffuse, whatever. Albedo is going to be the color of that object. Diffuse is specifically diffuse reflections. So if you have a metal um, in diffuse maps, that would be black. And in um, in a albedo, it will be the color of the metal that you want. Ultimately, you can use them the same. They're both a color map. But it, when you get into look dev, the way you use them would vary very slightly. Zebrush. Making me look like a creep. There we go. Okay, I'm starting to burn out for the day. 
Um, like, we can keep going, I'm just not entirely sure what I want to do. I'm going to get these into Maya, um, and then update the Z-Disp, uh, do a quick render, see how it looks, and then I'll probably end it for the night. Uh, in terms of tomorrow, I will be streaming tomorrow morning, however, um, I'll probably take the afternoon off, just because the weather's been fucking beautiful, um, and so I'd quite like to spend a, a day out, and this weekend's a lot of plans. Um, Tomorrow is like one of my best friend's birthdays, um, and then next Wednesday is my birthday, and so on Saturday we're doing a kind of combined birthday thing. We're going to go out um, to a few different places around Montreal, and so I'm not really going to have time this weekend to do my own thing. So I'd quite like to do a little bit, um, a little bit tomorrow afternoon. Are you in Montreal, by the way? Yes, yes, I'm in Montreal. Let's export this back. Modeling, ZBrush, sculpting, exports. Don't think I changed this. I did change this. Block out hair. Oh, Vivian, are you in um in Montreal as well? Wait, are you the artist? You recently did, unless it's a different Vivian, I uh, recently did like a digi double of a girl with like ginger hair. If so, like really, really nice work. Really nice work. Uh, right, got that exported. I'm going to. That's me, yeah. Yeah, no, nice work. Really liked it. 
geometry, delete lower, delete higher. Duplicate. Um, merge down. Topology, delete hidden, subtool. Now I can merge down. Okay, export that out. Um, let's call this one block out. Thank you so much, means a lot coming for you. Cool. Yeah, I'm in Montreal too. Go and join nice weather. Nice, yeah. Yeah, Montreal is, is beautiful right now. The last few days, like, the air's been so clear, not cloud in the sky. Um, and the only time I've seen it really is like early morning when I'm going to the gym and then during my lunchtime walk where it's just been like so nice where like today and yesterday I was out and I was just like I don't need to go home and stream like I could just like walk up to the plateau and just like vibe um, but I haven't done that so I will do that tomorrow and ultimately I am still on my time off like I'm streaming because I want to do something but I have no obligations. Uh, right, okay, let's I've already export that. Cool. Um, then the shirt, I don't think I've done anything to. So, get to here. File, import. So we have body, which are going to be blend shape 2, okay, then we have uh, the apron, which needs to be re-imported. I'm going to need to get that updated as well. update the hair. There we go. And create a new reference, which will be the ZBrush block out of the apron. There we go. So let's see what our render cam is doing. to update um need to update my ZBrush or Z desp even. Let's get that updated. I used to work in a ramen bar in the plateau uh, called Yakatu. Uh Yakato Yakabai. If you're walking around there I highly recommend. Yeah I can check it out. I've been looking for a good ramen place for a while. And when I go to frame store, I'll be working up in like Mile End, so I'm gonna be looking mostly for places around that. But um, multi map exporter displacement 4K, create all maps, projects, person projects. That 
just do this thing for a moment. So while I like get this like last few things sorted, is there any questions? There we go. Uh, I'll update you on the Discord mic. Yeah, cool. I'll um, I'll let this render finish and then I'll be done for the night. Um, just because I kind of want to go. Well, I've got to do my workout and then I want to relax. So the earlier in the stream, the more time I have after workout. And tonight's gonna suck because it's legs. Um, oh, it's jumping about. I gotta thank everyone from chat. Yeah, the chat's been really helpful. So things I do quite like about this chat, like someone mentioned it in the Discord the other day, like the kind of community that you guys have is is really nice. Like, it's nice to see everyone supporting each other, helping each other out. this out so you guys have got about five minutes before I'm done uh, if there's any questions at all let me know um, and then what's the word um, tomorrow will be a half day I'll do some work in the morning and it will be like you know 9 15 to like 12 30 because uh, I'm grabbing lunch over a hole um, I'm treating him to pizza for his birthday um, and after that, like I'm just gonna relax. So well, I'll say relax. I'm gonna go on a lot of walking, and I've got a scheduled workout at Orange Ferry. So not really relaxing, running like a madman on treadmill. But you know, is is what it is. I enjoy it. Uh, but yeah, and then weekend, as I said, like this project, I'm going to treat as like a weekday thing. Uh, so weekend, I won't be doing any streaming. Um, and then hopefully by Monday, there's, there's something I can share with you guys. Um, a little secret project and so I'll share that with you um, and see I have no idea when I'll finish it but it would be nice to announce it I need to announce it before I join Framestore for legal reasons
TLDR, I'm making my own tool. Okay, 46%. But yeah, pretty soon I'll need to um, actually start on the skin shading in some way, like just getting displacement on there, like actual displacement. Um, like 3D scan store, maybe even uh, XYZ stuff. Because people keep asking about it, so I'm like, okay, well, maybe it's worth buying a, a product from them to test out. Uh, we shall see. So glad to have your streams back, though. Yeah, that's great. I'm glad to see that. Thank you for sharing what you do, Mike. Uh, renders are going nice. Yeah, renders are starting to, to work all right. I need to line up the large reference as well as do some quick lineups with um, the reference of Alison herself just to kind of check other angles that are actually accurate. Um, and then, yeah, it shouldn't be too hard from there, to be honest. There's some weirdness to the headscarf here, but we can fix that. Seventy-eight percent. I keep making this too thick, don't I? Eyes are too big too. And too soft. I need to reduce the blend. In prod for groom, do you mainly work in Houdini? Um, so, no, not really, uh, but it depends on the studio. Everything is studio based. Um, so when I was at MPC, they used a tool, and granted that was 2019 when I left the groom team, uh, but we used a tool called Fertility, F-U-R-tility. Um, that was used on everything from 10,000 BC, the film they made it for, which is public information, um, all the way up to when I left which the last project I worked on was the Egon uh, revival for Ghostbusters Afterlife. That was the last group I did professionally. Um, and yeah, that was all fertility. Um, then uh, Digital Domain, I mean, I was a look dev artist, but they have their own tool, um, which is called Samsung, which again, they are public with. Um, Framestore, I don't know how public they are with their groom tools. I, I know they've done some talks, but I can't remember if they spoke about the tool or just spoke about the grooms themselves. So I'm not going to comment on that, but um, there are studios that use um, Houdini, but most of the big studios have their own tools. They have their own shit that they've, they've built over years. Because uh, groom is an old problem, right? And Houdini isn't that old. So that's that's the main issue you run into. I'm saving um, JPEG and EXR every day. All from the same camera. There we go. Cool. Well, that's me done. Um, I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna open up ZBrush for some screenshots. And then, yeah, I'm gonna head off. Um, but thank you for stopping by, guys. Um, I'll, as I said, I'll be on tomorrow morning. It will only be a half day, but I'll still be on. And then we'll be back to normal on Monday. Um, but yeah, thank you for stopping by. And I will see you tomorrow. Cool. See you guys.